Alright, hello everyone. It's me. <laughs> no. Alright, hello everyone. What is going on on your end of the internet? On mine, we're about to start a Let's Play of The Sims 2. Now, I've already done this whole introduction thing once, but it turns out that uh, the, the recording that I thought I was getting didn't actually ever happen, so whoops. Um, I'm glad I didn't get too far, and I'm glad that I kind of wanted to do this uh, episode zero introduction kind of thing. So um, yes, I'm going to be playing uh, The Sims 2, and there are probably two major questions you're asking right off the bat, even if you're not interested in watching the rest of the series. Number one. Why would you want to play The Sims 2? Um, my response to that is that The Sims 4 is coming out really soon, the end of this year. You know, there's only a few months left, I think. Um, I actually haven't been paying that much attention to The Sims 4. I'm a little excited about it, but I'm not as big of a video gamer as I used to be, so I don't actually know all the details. But The Sims 4 is coming out soon, that is confirmed, and uh, we're getting more information on that every day. Um, I believe the creative sims actually already been uh, sent to people on Origin who have all kinds of expansion packs, Sims 3 expansion packs and stuff and have been longtime fans. EA's given them copies of that, so that's neat. Um, I didn't get mine because mine were never registered in Origin. I have all of my uh, sims as discs, so I lost out on that, I guess. But I should have it. Regardless, yes, I'm playing The Sims 2 uh, kind of in preparation for The Sims 4. I don't like The Sims 3, guys, and uh, I don't know what it is about The Sims 3. It was a great concept. It worked fine until you started getting expansion packs, and then things just started to run really weird. I don't, and I don't like the control. I don't know. It's, it's a preference. I've loved The Sims 2 since it came out. It was the first game I really ever got into, and uh, it just excites me. Uh, question number two that you have is, what is, why does your Sims 2 not make sense? Um, you're speaking English, but that doesn't look like English words. And um, those are not English words, those are words in Portuguese. Um, the Portuguese is my fourth language, it's my weakest language right now, and uh, it needs some practice. So I'm going to be playing The Sims 2 in Portuguese, because I have been playing The Sims 2 since before I was even a teenager, so I know how this game works, I know the ins and outs, I basically know all the dialogue boxes at this point, so uh, seeing it in Portuguese will help me, one, learn Portuguese, uh, and two, it'll bring a little sense of uh, uh, like excitement or discovery because something new will pop up and I won't know right away what it is, so it'll kind of give it a little more replay value for me as well. Um, um, let's, uh, load up my town here. I'm gonna be using a custom town because I don't like the ones that, that shift with it. I've never been a huge fan of the stories that are already in place in The Sims that are there. I don't like messing with it. I like making my own thing. So, uh, we're gonna have a pretty bare neighborhood for a while. So, uh, bear with me. But we're gonna be playing in Kush de Jamur. And, um, for the most part, the family that we're playing will have English names. <laughs> uh, you know, we're not gonna give them any crazy names, but... Uh, remember that the townies are going to spawn with Portuguese names from the Portuguese bank. So, uh, just get ready for some of those and me trying to pronounce them and doing it horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, um, like I said, I already tried to do a recording, so I actually already slapped down what we're doing. Um, if you have any experience with The Sims 2, you probably already know what's happening. The premise I'm going for here is we're going to be playing a legacy family. Um, if you don't know what that is, the premise is that you're playing a family and you're trying to keep the bloodline going for 10 generations, and you can uh, scale it, you can give yourself points based on things, but I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to do the basic legacy rules and regulations kinds of things that you would normally do just for a little bit of a challenge, and uh, it'll also give me a stopping place for the Let's Play because Sims 2 could go on for literally ever. Um, so this will give me a place to at least stop this one. If it's something that's popular and you guys do like Sims 2 Let's Plays, I can do more of them later, or simultaneously. That is to be discussed. Anyway, we will be playing this legacy, and the uh, the other challenge that I'm going for here, as you see, we're right now we've loaded university, uh, and uh, up here you see only university pack is installed. I'm going to be installing one expansion pack and probably one stuff pack as well per generation in the legacy household, and exploring those expansion packs through each generation. So we'll take uh, advantage of whichever expansion pack is installed in that generation with that heir and their children, etc. until they become adults. Um, in that case, 
Uh, Legacies usually have 10 generations, but I believe there's only like 8 expansion packs, so we might not go the full 10. Or there just might be a, uh, a little bit at the end there where we are just tying up loose ends. Um, so uh, question number 3 is, why do you have university installed then? Shouldn't you be starting with the base game? Uh, for some reason, Windows 7 wasn't agreeing with the base game on my system, so I had to install University or the game wouldn't run. We're just gonna kind of avoid anything that came with University for the first generation, and uh, probably the second generation as well. And then, going into Generation 3, we'll pretend that University got installed. That also gives us a little bit of time for you, the viewer, to uh, suggest and comment what you'd like to see happen. Alright, so I'm just going to load up the family real quick, but this is going to just be episode 0, and I'm going to start the actual Let's Play in the next episode, which you should find an annotation on your screen. Uh, if you're watching this any time after I've uploaded it, because I should uh, be organized enough to take care of that. Alright, see you guys in the next episode.